Hi, I'm Rachel from Creative Little Stars and in this video I'm going to show you how to make um, party banners um, using a website called Canva. I'm just going to hit over to create a design. Um, Canva is a really good website, it's canva.com which is free and um, they also have upgrades so that you can have access to more images um, and I think you can possibly save more files. Um, but I'm using the free version. Um, it's really good for your social media, um, Facebook. Um, you can create invitations, um, certificates, um, marketing material. Um, so these are all the templates that they have. But I found that um, if you want to create things like um, party cupcakes, toppers and wrappers um, and banners, they don't have any templates for that. So um, I create a lot of um, party printables um, and sell them on Etsy, um, but they don't have the templates to, to make your own. So I've created those and added those to my store um, and to my website, which is creativelittlestars.com. So, um, so today we're going to make, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make um, a little banner. So the first thing we need to do is um, use custom dimensions on the top right hand side. And we're going to take it from pixels into inches. And we're going to make it 11 inches wide by 8.5, the height. And that's letter size. You can also do A4 size, but for now I'm going to do it as um, uh, letter because that's quite popular with my customers. So we're going to go to that size and it's creating a fresh page ready for you to design. The first thing it does is suggest lots of layouts. We're not going to use those ones, but they do have some good ones. Um, in my video tutorial showing how to make um, my matching emoji party invitation, um, I use one of their layouts as, as the basic basis for background. Um, so you can head over to, to um, that video to see how to use those. Um, so we're going to go into our uploads. Um, I've also made another video showing how to um, download um, clip art and the templates um, from my store and how to upload them into Canva. Um, but here are some of the templates, my party templates, um, and here's the clip art emojis and the matching um, backgrounds, some of the colour blocks and the speech bubbles. So the first thing we want to do is put the, um, we're going to use the pink heart background. Canva works in layers, so the first thing we want to do is put our background on the first level. And then I'm going to use um, one of my templates, the party banner layer over the top. And we want to just drag that to resize it. Um, you have to be careful not to go over the page. Um, I'm not sure if it's a bit of a glitch with Canva, but it just deletes that page or makes, um, yeah, it does odd things. I'll just show you, you kind of, yeah, you can see it does, does weird things with it. So I'm just going to delete that one and show you. So we're going to put this one back again. It doesn't seem to matter with your patterns. You can go over the top of your patterns, but with the templates, just leave yourself a little bit of a gap. It can be tiny. There we go. Okay, so we've got our background of our banner, and this will print two flags. And now we want to put some shapes in to put the letters on. So I'm going to go to Elements, Canva Elements, and I'm going to use Shapes. And I'm going to use the curved square. It's got nice curved edges. And I'm just going to, I'm just dragging the corner make it the size I want, line that up, and then I'm going to create another one, this time I want to make that one white, so I'm going to change the colour in the top left hand side, scroll down and use white, and drag that over the top, lining those up together. And now what I want to do is hold down the shift button on my keyboard and select both shapes. And then I'm going to copy those and drag them over to the next banner. Okay, that's lined up. 
Now I'm going to head back up to my uploads where I've added my emojis. And I'm going to add this guy and then make it smaller. With um, Illustrator to hold, um, to keep your um, image square, you hold down shift, but with um, Canva, it's the opposite. You hold it down um, and it distorts. Whereas if you just drag it over and you don't have to hold anything on the keyboard, it reduces in scale, just using the cursors. So it's the opposite. Okay, and then I'm going to pick this one, the next one. I'm just going to hover over near it so I can just get the size the same, as close as I can. That's good. I like that Canva have all the grids so it's quite easy to line it up with the bottom of the banner and the top of the other emoji. It's, it's nice, it's a good program. Um, I use Photoshop and Illustrator a lot, but if you don't have them, this is a really good program. Um, it's really popular. I use it a lot for all my social media for Instagram. So I think it's, um, it's really good fun, easy to use. So now we're going to go into text. I'm going to add some text. I just want to put one letter per page. So we'll just keep A for now. And I want to make that larger. Um, usually around 250 works well for these banners. It's lined up again. So the canvas is really nice at lining up. Um, and I'm going to change the font. They've got loads and loads and loads of different fonts. Just click, select that one. And just want to maybe bring that down a bit. And I'm going to change the colour. I've already got some colours in here that I want. Actually, I might go with a purple. So if you want to add a new colour, um, some of them I've already put in. Um, I'm going to create, add my own colour. Um, included in my um, my kit with the um, my clip art and the patterns and um, pattern backgrounds, I've also included a page um, with the um, colour of reference code. So for the purple, it's, I'm going to add eight to Five, zero, and then F. That's the purple colour. Um, and that coordinates with the whole of the party collection. So I'm going to copy that text box and drag that over. Change that to B. Okay. So you can create, um, so that's all your letters, and if you wanted to just keep all your um, banners the same colour, um, you could just copy and then change that to C, D, and make, um, put in all your letters to create your own names and birthdays or happy birthday, um, whichever you want. I quite like to, um, to alternate between different colours on the banner just to make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to change the background um, to the, from the pink heart to the blue hearts. Um, so to do that, I'm just going to have to move, just because it's in layers and you can't lock down layers, unfortunately, um, like you can in Illustrator, but I'm just going to move that to the side so I can easily get to the back layer. I'm going to delete that one, go back to the uploads, and I'm going to add the pink, blue hearts. Drag that over, and it's actually already gone back. It's already gone to the back page, but sometimes a box will come up here, as you can see here, hit arrange and you can send them forward and back, but that one's already gone to the back. If it doesn't already go to the back, just select it and the the, um, the box will come up and you can send it to the front or back. Then I'm going to line the template back up. And now I want to change the, I'm to click around a little bit to get that one, but I'm going to change the box to the pink. That stands out from the blue, so you've got a bit of a difference. And uh, maybe change the emojis as well. So we've got more than those two. Let's add this one in. I'm going to go off this one for the size. Just a little 
bit smaller. There we go. And I'm going to delete this emoji. If you want to copy that page, you can copy that one and copy that one and make as many as you want and change your letters. So once you've finished your um, file, I will just um, we're going to call this banner sample and hit save, and that goes to that will save in Canva into all your files. Um, and then I'm just going to. So after you've given your file a name and you've hit done, it will save on your home page. So we've got it saved here. So whenever you log in, you'll see all the designs you've already created. And then you want to download it ready to print. So you go to download area. Um, it automatically recommends a PNG file, um, which is definitely higher than the, P the JPEG file um, or JPG file. Um, it's it's definitely sharper, um, but I would recommend choosing a PDF pr the print file option, and then um, it's already selected uh, all pages. We don't need the um, marks and bleed, and then you just download it. Um, my my um, my computer set up to open uh, PDFs automatically in Adobe Reader, um, but it. It might just save to wherever you save your regular downloads. As you can see here, it's already opened. So that's page one, and page two. And page three was a copy of page two. So you can see there there are two different colors. So you will have saved all the letters that you need, ready to print, and then just hit print or take it to um, ready, take it to your printer, ready to print. And then all you need to do is just cut out your banners cut out the edges and then um, a hole punch um, and then I like to alternate between the, the different colours. Okay, so that's how you do that one. So that's a really simple easy way to make a party banner using Canva. Um, please subscribe to my channel to see all my other videos of how to make uh, matching party stationery and um, also using Canva.